and welcome back to the Acumen Labs. Today, we're going to find out, can you fail it? And today, the thing that we're going to test is peanuts. These aren't peanuts that have been soaked in uh, beer or soaked in uh, whiskey or anything like that. Uh, someone suggested to us that it was possible that you could get a fail on a breathalyzer with peanuts. We're going to try it. As always, we do a blank test on our breathalyzers to make sure that we're not cheating and uh, that we're getting proper results every time. This is a childproof peanut pack. Zero. Zero. All right, let's eat some nuts. Go nuts! Are you eating one peanut? A handful of peanuts. There's the one explanation. Zero. Zero. Can you fail it, peanuts? No, can't no. fail it. So don't try and uh, run your defense of peanut uh, breathalyzer error or peanut breathalyzer reading because clearly peanuts are not going to make you fail it. If you have a suggestion for something that we should try on Can You Fail It, type it in the box below, send us an email, contact us one way or another. Kyla is IRP lawyer on Twitter. I'm Paul Doroshenko on Twitter. Um, and our phone number is 604-685-8889. Thanks for watching. Can you fail it? Found a peanut, found a peanut, found a peanut last night. Last night I failed the breathalyzer. But it wasn't from the peanut. Not last night. That was... Um, Awful. That was actually <laughs> a lot better than some of the other songs that you have sung in the office over well, the years.